I'm Sangeeta Krishnan and I welcome you on behalf of Jagna Josh to this week's video. So first I'll be taking you through the key headlines of the week then I'll be coming to the main topic of discussion for today. So the key headlines of the week are US pulls out of UN's refugee and migrant pact. The United States has withdrawn itself from UN's pact to improve the handling of refugee and migrant situations stating that it is inconsistent with its policies. Veteran Bollywood actor Shashi Kapoor dies at 79. Veteran Bollywood actor of the 70s Shashi Kapoor passed away on 4 December 2017 following a prolonged illness. He was 79. Narendra Modi is most tweeted about world leader after Trump. According to figures released by Twitter on 5 December 2017, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the most tweeted about world leader after US President Donald Trump. International Solar Alliance comes into force. The International Solar Alliance became a treaty-based international intergovernmental organization on 6 December 2017 following ratification by Guinea. US President recognizes Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, promises to move US embassy. The President of United States Donald Trump on 6 December 2017 recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, keeping up with his long overdue campaign promise. So this is a topic that I would be discussing in detail with you today. So Trump citing a 1995 law, the Jerusalem Embassy Act said that the time has come to recognize what everyone already knows, that Jerusalem is the capital that the Jewish people established in ancient times and today it is the seat of Israel's parliament. Trump also announced plans of relocating the US embassy which is currently based in Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. He has in fact also directed the state department to begin the construction process of the new US embassy in Jerusalem. The move has been opposed by nations across the world including America's closest allies. So the Jerusalem Embassy Act basically was passed by the US Congress in 1995. It calls upon the US to move its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, officially recognizing it as the capital of Israel. However, none of the former US presidents took the call. So coming to how the international community is reacting to Trump's controversial decision, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu termed the decision as historic, courageous and just. While on the other hand, the Palestinian Authority president Mohammed Abbas rejected Trump's claim that it is directed to bringing peace in the region and stated that with this stand, US has given up its historic role of being the peace mediator. The international community including the Arab world and countries such as France, Britain and Germany feel that Trump's decision may have violent repercussions and they also feel that the fate of Israeli-Palestinian conflict must be determined through direct negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians themselves. Trump stated that US too supports such a negotiated deal and it is in fact also in favor of the two-state solution provided that both the sides agree to it. So what is this two-state solution? The solution basically involves creation of an independent Palestinian state alongside the state of Israel. Coming to India's reaction on Trump's decision, India is very clear that its stand on the Palestinian issue is independent and only shaped by its interests and values and not determined by any third country. So what is this Jerusalem issue? Jerusalem is basically home to sites that are holy to Jews, Christians and Muslims which is one of the core parts of the conflict. Both Israel and Palestine lay claims to the city. Israeli government is in fact centered around the new city of West Jerusalem ever since it was formed in 1948. During the 6 day war however which is also known as the 1967 Arab Israel war that was fought between Israel and the Arab nations of Egypt, Jordan and Syria the Israelis annexed the Eastern Jerusalem. In 1980 Israel passed a new law declaring Jerusalem complete and united as its capital. The Palestinians on the other hand claim Eastern Jerusalem to be the capital of independent Palestinian state. Though Israel considers Jerusalem as its capital, it is not recognized internationally and that is why the embassies of all the nations are located either in or nearby Tel Aviv. So now when one of the world's biggest powers has recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel only time will tell what the other nations would do would they join US in recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel or would they come up with an alternate solution to solve the century old crisis 
So with this, I conclude my topic of discussion for today. Please like, comment and share. If you like our video, you can also log on to www.jagranjosh.com for more updates and download our Jagran Josh Current Affairs app to stay connected.